Here we go. Playing magic. Doing things. Welcome one and all to Magic 2015. This is the multiplayer match of the day. I'm getting used to this having people to play against immediately. It's nice. I like it. I do not hate it at all. I'm trying to think of what deck good old tech down here should equip. I kind of want to keep running this because I'm not used to it. Like I said, I mean, somebody in the comments, I'm sorry I don't have my phone uh, unlocked right now and it's super noisy on this table to do that. And it'd be rude. Uh, but somebody asked me why I didn't block with the 3-1 token. It's, I flat out forgot it was a token. I mean, there's so much shit to keep track of when you're running... Uh, the stretch deck, like I said, I've never played it before. In all the years that I've played Magic, my, my entire life, I've never played a deck like this with so much recursion. Uh, I played Rats that had some bullshit. I played uh, Mono Black for a while that had some, uh, some stupid shit in it as well. But I, I've never done this before. And it's obviously, it's like, it's like it's a whole new game. That's what I love about 2015 that a lot of people are discounting is that this is a spectacular medium to play this game. And look at that. Oh, I was going to say, I was just going to say, look, we're not even getting anybody today. Hugsy. That's what I'm going to call this guy. A permanent. That's any card on the battlefield. Um, This looks dope. I mean, it's actually not like awesome but i think i can get there i play first i really like this actually go and these lands are not terrible for the tricolor decks because you need the either or so it's better than any land we've ever had before because like the sack ones where you got to go and get a uh, basic out of your pile is a much different feel than this so uh, this guy's going to go ahead and think that we're Orzov Hurt and Heal, but we're not. So I don't know if that's going to trip him up at all or what. That might be what he's playing. So we'll have to find out what's going on here. I'm glad to have the sticks back, man. Like, this is how I play video games. I'm sorry. I'm getting used to it. I'm playing, what am I playing? Um, Agarest, Generations of War. I'm playing a little bit of that. Uh, and, you know, trying to do my thing there. I'm going to attack this guy. He's probably going to drop two dudes and double block me, right? Is that a two, is that a two drop? No, I'm going to do two damage. Hey, don't be afraid of cards that you don't understand. Boom. Now he knows what we are. Now he's got our number. Now he's got the name. Is that all lands? Because that is fucking garbage. Well, I guess I don't want to draw him, right? So, because I've already got four. It's not exactly like I'm going to just pound out Runescar Demon at some point, so. Interesting. Um, I'll have three white sources if I drop the Selesnya Gate. I mean, they're both slow, so it's like a whole thing. I don't have any plays either way, so I'm going to try. I'm going to probably give this guy lifelink. Because I might as well. Like, I don't care about life gain at all. Uh, it's it's not a mechanic that I worry about too much, but I don't have any other plays. There's absolutely no reason not to go 23 right here. So I'll go ahead and give myself a little bit of cushion, drop that land like we discussed earlier. It's 4-5. I mean, shit, I might just cast Runes Guard Demon, and this guy might not play a spell, uh, which is also not a great way for me to learn how to play this deck. Oh, yep, he's gaining some life, that's for sure. Planner Cleansing's not terrible. Eventually against this guy. Um, I can play my slow land. I can attack for two. I have six land next turn, so I can do both triggers here. Start damaging him. To wait the entire time to get that guy out seems insane to me. Uh, I really shouldn't do anything here. I mean, I could attack for the two. He gains two life. 
I gain two life, but that's not really what I want to do. All I have in the yard is uh, land, correct? Yes, it is. All right. We'll keep it going. We'll keep figuring out what we're doing here. I mean, I'm a couple turns away from just Runescar Demoning, and uh, shit, I mean, Runescar Demon probably gets me Pelica Worm. Just because, I mean, I may plan or cleanse. I'm trying to think. That is the only Bane Slayer Angel that exists. He is white black though, so he could have recursion for it. But I really just don't want to deal with this Bane Slayer Angel. Play this planes. Planner cleansing. He didn't attack because I have the double block. If I had one more mana, I would absolutely planner cleanse right now. He still got five cards in hand. Actually, I wouldn't because that's a stupid play. But I don't know what I'd do because he's going to gain 10 life. It's going to take him to 25, which is going to be a huge pain in my ass. Planner cleanse or not. Let's see if we can't draw something else out. Uh, the thing that sucks with this deck, obviously, is that we don't have we can't instant speed this. We're not going to be four color because that's obnoxious as shit. Four color is just like five color. I props to everyone trying five color decks. I'm doing it too. We're going to get there as a team. But uh, four color is just like I don't think I've ever seen one of the. Well, that's not true actually. So we're drawing out. I want him to play one more spell. I want him to have three cards in hand, to be honest with you. I want him to have three cards in hand. I want to plan or cleanse. I just want to go ape shit. He's going to gain so much life right here and be such an obnoxious guy. How many of these assholes does he have? Could he have one more? Are there two rocks faith menders? I think that might be the case. Are you going to attack with that? This seems weird to me. Well then, I'll block it. No, because I can attack next turn and do more damage. No, because I can't do them both. Go ahead and... Yeah. Do this, and then... Because that's just going to slow him up a little bit. He's going to take 3 damage. He's not going to gain 10 life quite. So that's not too bad. Swift Justice, that thing gets, what, first strike? Yeah, that sucks. Oh, he did it for the triggers over there. Oh, that's really smart, dude. Got him down to 3 cards. Which is exactly what I wanted, actually. So I'm pretty damn happy right here. That's great for me. I mean, it's not like I have too much to do right now, but it's still okay. I could have just treasure found a land, to be honest with you, but I'm going to treasure find the planter cleansing way later. I need eight mana to do that, though, because I want to be able to play it when I get it because I don't want him to know it's coming. I really want to draw a land off the top so I can rinse guard demon, because otherwise I don't have enough mana to do anything, really. Because it's three to cast this guy. I've only got six, so anything that hits the yard, I'm not going to be able to rescue from the underworld because I need five. If this guy doesn't have any creatures, though, then I read him correctly, and we're going to go ahead and just win this. Yep. Kapow! Wall of... Oh, man! That's amazing. Uh, That was so lame. I am ashamed of myself. Oh my god, I don't even want to exist anymore. Let's see which order I should have done this in as opposed to which order I did do it in, because I'm sure I was wrong. Oh wait, no, it just would have been a land. Hey, Wall of Omens, what you gonna grab me, buddy? Well, except I need a land. Give me a land, Wall of Omens. You beautiful bastard. Uh, your turn. Got that rune scarred coming out next turn. Uh, and I can... Phase my wall of omens and get jack shit. Well, I guess I could get this Copa Guild Mage. Because he is also a very good guy. Hey, you're not gaining a life anymore, dude. I don't know how to tell you this. 
That also will bust when I get my other removal spell. Um, let's go ahead and attack for three. Then my Runescar Demon. What do I get here, guys? Seance is not even that good, but I have seven mana, so I think I just get Pelica Worm. Because I can rise rescue from the underworld. Yeah, that's absolutely what I get. Well, I could even phase out Runescar Demon and just get something else. So I could get yeah, but there's nothing in my yard. I mean, we're not even we're not even going that route. We're just gonna grab the Pelica Worm. Because that's not what we're doing right now. We're not even worrying about the tokens and stuff. I mean, we might use Viscopa Guild Mage at a certain point. But... Do I have enough green sources, though? Shit, 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 shit. Shit. I don't think I do. Not even close. Maybe. What is that, Golgari? Shit. What is my land right now? Why can't I look at these? Oh, I can't... Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? What's this one, then? That's just a swamp, isn't it? Can I only look... I can only look at special lands. Oh, you sons of bitches. I know I've got two green sources down there. I don't think I can do this. I'm going to have to rescue from the underworld and get my... So my plan was to do the Pelica Worm and then rescue from the underworld, uh, phasing out Pelica Worm and bringing back my Viscopa Guild Mage. Uh, because then during my untap, I'd be able to cast it. But yeah, I'm, I'm completely wrong about that. I mean, I will eventually be able to do that, obviously, uh, because I have the Wayfinder who will hopefully find me that last green source. But that was just really stupid on my part. Really stupid on my part. It's hard to believe that there's still not anything in my yard really worth getting creature-wise. Uh, we'll go ahead and... I don't know why it always wants to tap. I don't know. I feel like it sh shouldn't it have tapped one of the white mana there? What is it trying to leave white mana open for? That is a black. That's a green source. Is what I'm looking for. And we just got another of those guys down there. So we'll put that down. I'm not exactly sure. So I can do my underworld and get Pelica Worm. No, I'll just sell this visionary. It's fine. Because the Pelican Worm play is going to do damage to him immediately. And I think that's what I want to do. But I do have to wait a couple turns anyway to do that. Because I could rescue from the Underworld, get Pelican Worm out from my yard, and uh, use Runescar Demon to get something else. I already have... We've already found all three Pelican Worms, correct? Nope. There's one in the pile still. I would really just like to get Viscopa Guildmage out again. I mean, not that that's my sole win con, but... It does have a lot of style and flair to it. Wow, we really, really read this guy. What a terrible hand to keep. I mean, obviously, we all know what he was trying to do, but uh, did not work well for him, as we can see. Uh, everybody goes across. Uh, he's just about dead, right? That's 9, 10, 11. So he's at 10. So I'm not even going to get to do my Viscopa Guild Mage play, because that's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, so I'll just play as Pelica Worm. He could have a removal, he could have mass removal of his own that he drops right here, uh, but I at least get to draw a card, which is nice. Sacrifice a creature, so I would draw a card from phasing out the Pelica Worm as well. Shit, that's really cool. Risk from the Underworld's amazing, dude. It's nice. Uh, he gets to kill one dude. It can't be my 6-6, six, six. it has to be the 7-7. Seven, seven. I get to draw a card. It waits until my upkeep correct, so I can't do that all at once. Because now I was thinking that I could just do Viscopa Guild Mage, but actually I can bring Viscopa Guild Mage back. How much mana do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's exactly what I need, right? Six plus two. Do I have enough black sources? No, because I have to play it too. Fuck. Viscopa Guild Mage, you son of a bitch. Um... I mean, let's attack here. He is at 10. We're just, like, at this point, all we're doing is discussing different ways to make him lose. There's really not anything that he's going to do to us that is going to do anything but prolong the inevitable. Cutthroat Maneuver does what? So I'm going to rescue from the Underworld. I'm going to select this Pelica Worm. Confirm. I'm going to sack out this guy. You gain no life. 
Is this, I thought that had to have two legal targets. It doesn't have to have two targets. I'll read that later. I don't want to bother this poor guy. He's about to lose anyway. Oh, no, because I can't play... God damn it, because I can't play him. I was just about to say I could treasure find right there. Get my Viscopa Guild Mage and then win, but I can't play him because he costs two mana to play. <sighs> Three, four. I mean, I got five damage sitting on the field anyway. Actually, during your turn, up to two targets, not two target creatures. Okay. All right. I thought for a second that that had to have targets, but... Uh, probably too many enchantments in this guy's pile. Well, no, that's not true. This ticks off. Everybody comes back to the party. Uh, I mean, it doesn't matter what I get because I'm about to win anyway. Actually, I need to get a Viscopa Guild Mage because I can win right now if I utilize that ability. No matter what he does, I will win right here. Because I'll go ahead and I'll just toss out this Viscopa Guild Mage... And if he's smart, he knows that through giving the creatures lifelink, he will die. No matter who he blocks. Because I will just give... Right? Yeah. Yeah, he can't do anything. Right? Uh, let me think of all the situations that he can block. I mean, that doesn't matter. So I stop it right here. I just go ahead and win by doing this. Trigger... Stop it and give that guy life link, and that's five damage. Yep. I was confused there for a second because the dude hit the yard, but that is right. No, it would all happen simultaneously. That's how life link works. This is super weird that you get booted back. I mean, it, it's pushing me into this like complacency almost where I, I don't do two matches. The game is super locked up right now, though. Like, for sure. Yep. Dad, I'm not going anywhere. Where are you going? No effing where. Uh, I guess that's it for today. I'm still trying to work out the kinks, but I want to talk through these episodes. Um, because this is a whole new format, basically, that I'm learning. So, I think that's a, a interesting aspect of this channel that we haven't seen before. A lot of the decks that I 60 and that I play with a lot are obviously decks that I'm comfortable with. And I think it's interesting to kind of see something I've never done before. And I'm growing a lot. I'm learning a lot uh, just from playing it. But I really appreciate all the comments that you guys have been giving me and the constructive criticism down below. I haven't been able to respond to too much of it, but I have been reading every single comment. Um, and I've, I've been responding a lot better lately. That new YouTube app is actually really helpful with that. I'm, I'm I don't want to say surprised that they finally got it right, but it did take them like 56 years to finally put... A halfway like, there was no way to respond to stuff on mobile whatever anyway there's no way to moderate your channel on mobile i'm absolutely locked out right now um anyway you guys thanks a lot the patreon rewards are 100 percent complete i figured out what i'm going to do for all of it the pricing tiers there is literally a pricing tier for everyone we're going to get into that later uh but obviously this is not to put any content behind a paywall the content's going to come out every single day just like it always does what the patreon is really about is creating strengthening our community even more we've got a bunch of new subscribers which is amazing welcome everybody uh here um but like this is just terrible i'm i'm, I'm boned there's no wait a minute so my controller my controller is fine though but i can Anyway, we have so many more subscribers, new subscribers over the past couple weeks. It's amazing to have you, and I really welcome you aboard. Just so you know, this is the best YouTube Magic the Gathering community, or just YouTube channel community around. Uh, I 100% believe that. You see the comments of a lot of other people, and they are much darker and much less uh, helpful than what you guys produce. And it's just amazing to have such a great community and all the Patreon rewards are really centered around including you guys in the videos, getting your feedback directly as quickly as possible and letting you know absolutely exactly what's going on in my uh, life and in the channel's life. Uh, so that's 100% what the Patreon's about. I don't want anybody to worry that they're not going to be getting their videos on time, that uh, certain people are going to get special content. That is absolutely not true. Every single one of you, whether you spend nothing on the Patreon or not, will get to reap the benefits of the content. And that's really what I'm most excited about. It's been a lot of time, obviously. I've been talking about launching this for a long time. It's been a lot of time researching all the different Patreons and seeing where I believe they had a lot of weak points. Um... 
I think we fixed it. I think we're gonna have a even better community to enjoy this game and, and games going forward from this Patreon. So I, I really hope you guys will check that out when it goes live. It should be soon, I hope. Uh, and thanks for watching this episode. I really hate, I guess maybe I'm a nervous speaker on this when I can't move around. I feel very strange talking right now, but thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. Once again, drop me comments down below about what you think of this deck. Uh, it has so many win cons. It's difficult for me because I can get trapped in thinking just one specific way because I want to use that whole seance. I want to use the combo. I want to use the reanimator stuff and all that because that's what it's supposed to do. But I think, I mean, that's obviously wrong. If you can just cast a card, just cast a card. You know what I mean? Don't get cute with it. So I'm going to try and be paying attention to that, but definitely call me out because I need to be better. Thanks again, you guys. I'll see you all tomorrow. Don't forget, there's another episode of uh, the campaign going up on the channel as well today. So uh, thanks again.